Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Just got a really interesting email in from Ron. The title of this email is Canon 50 megapixel and 20 megapixel pair of pro level mirrorless cameras. Now, that got my attention as I'm sure it's already piqued a few of yours. He says, hey Matt, all this excitement about the coming Nikon full frame mirrorless cameras got me thinking about the Canon Pro mirrorless cameras that are supposed to be announced this year. Since it looks like Nikon is coming out with a 45 megapixel and 24 megapixel mirrorless full frame, the thought occurred to me that Canon would likely do the same. They already have a high res 50 megapixel full frame sensor from the 5DSR and the 5DS, and they could use the 26 megapixel full frame sensor from the 6D Mark II. Uh, Canon 50 megapixel and 26 uh, megapixel pair of pro level mirrorless will give them a resolution edge over Nikon, albeit a slight one, but nonetheless, and it will position them perfectly to compete against Nikon and Sony's mirrorless offerings. They'd actually be able to claim superiority in the resolution arena, plus with their DPAF technology, Canon could really build some class leading mirrorless cameras. Just a thought, Ron. Well, thanks very much for your email, Ron, and uh, a heck of a thought. That's a great thought, and I'm sure this idea has been kicked around uh, a bit by other people. It's probably popped into some other people's heads because, you know, we've kind of got the Nikon. We've got the 850 46 megapixel, and then we've got the 750 and 610 in the DSLRs at 24 megapixels. And that seems like what Nikon's kind of doing is almost borrowing from the parts bin, or that's where they want to stay at resolution, uh, and they haven't decided to come to market with higher resolution. They're using what they have, and they're having a higher megapixel body and a lower megapixel body. Both really good options because 24 is more than enough for most people. Uh, 24 megapixels is certainly enough for me, although I must say I've really enjoyed shooting the 36 and even the 46 on the D850. Uh, and 45 is pretty much more than you'd ever need for almost everybody. So a great option. And if Canon borrows from their parts bin, does some tweaks and uses a 50 megapixel sensor and a 26 megapixel sensor, borrowing from the resolution sensors, the sensors of the 5DSR I will go with, and the 26 megapixel 6D Mark II, um, that's a really good pair of full frame mirrorless cameras. Obviously, they're gonna, the sensors are going to have to be a little bit different because they're going to be mirrorless, but um, that would be an amazing pair of pro-level pro level mirrorless. I totally agree with Ron. It would give them a resolution edge. Sure, it's just a slight one, but it allows you to claim the king spot, the, the, the title, the throne, um, and it would position them amazingly against Sony. At that point, Sony would be third as far as resolution with the 42 megapixel A7R 3 And when you factor in, as Ron said, the DPAF, the dual pixel autofocus, which Canon is arguably the pioneer of. They were the first ones to bring something that good to market in a DSLR and arguably still the best at it, although I would say Sony is probably on par now. And I am fully expecting Nikon to blow our socks off with what they are going to be offering. They're aware that this is, at least I'm I'm sure they must be, I've told them enough times, that this is one of their failings at the moment is they don't have something equivalent to dual pixel AF technology in their DSLRs for that smooth, fluid autofocus during video or live view. And I'm sure they're going to address that, if not become the king of the hill for a while and uh, unseat Canon from the throne. That would be really cool to see. I'd love to see Canon have to pull their socks up and give us something even better. Or, conversely, Sony do the same thing. Both of them would have to if Nikon comes out with something that good. So really interesting thoughts here from Ron. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a likely uh, thing that we'll see when we see our announcements later in the year? I think around Photokina probably. I think at the moment Canon's just interested to see what Nikon does. That's why they're not leaking anything or announcing anything. Um, but I think that would be a very reasonable assumption is that to counter, I mean, you, you don't just have Nikon in this position, you have Sony in this position as well, the a7R 3 at 42 megapixels and the a7 III at 24 megapixels. Now, Nikon has come out full guns blazing at Sony there with, they're going to have a 45 megapixel and a 24 megapixel. So it would only make sense that the other big uh, dark horse that hasn't even announced yet, the other sleeping giant, Canon, would come out with a 50 and a 26. Maybe it won't be 50. Maybe it'll be 45. I'd be really surprised. I don't know if surprised is the right word. I think it would be a gross error in judgment if their high resolution body uh, in the mirrorless was the 30 megapixel sensor from 
the 5D Mark IV, I think that would be a mistake. It could be their low one. It would be fine if it was 50 and 30. But I think we need at least a high meg megapixel one, at least on par, um, I would say, with the Nikon. And why not use the 50 so you're above everybody else once Nikon's announced? That would be awesome. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see that? Do you think we're going to see a 50 and a 26? The 6D Mark II resolution level, the 5DSR resolution level from Canon in a pro mirrorless body? Would you be happy with that? Would that be a, a pair of... Uh, Canon mirrorless that you'd be interested in one or the other or perhaps one of each as your shooting kit, especially if you're a pro. Um, interesting thoughts from Ron. Let me know what you think about Ron's idea here. Uh, I think it's a pretty good one. It's kind of uh, interesting. It's exciting. And uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. 50 megapixels, 26 megapixels, full frame pro mirrorless from Canon coming soon to a store near you or at least announced at Photokina. Thanks, Ron. Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.